So, what do you remember researching as a child? I remember researching Luxembourg. Luxembourg. And what do you remember about Luxembourg? I don't remember a thing about Luxembourg. Perhaps I remember that it was small, but that's about it. Well, do you know how to spell Luxembourg? Correctly. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So I too had to do a country report. I think it was sixth grade. And I know my country was Morocco. Now, what do I remember about Morocco? Probably that it was in Northern Africa. That's about it. And people were very different than we are. Aside from that, nothing made it into long term. I will term tell life. you, I did not learn that they grew capers. In my refrigerator, I found things from Morocco. This is made in Morocco or Turkey. Oh, make up your mind. Uh, I got a Land's End clothing order yesterday that I ordered for my grandkids. Look at this. This was made in Vietnam, Sri Lanka, Sri Lanka, Vietnam, Vietnam, and Sri Lanka. And I bought sheets yesterday made in Bahrain. Now where's Bahrain? There's one. Go look it up. More importantly, I would challenge you to turn your low-level fact, rote and recall, fact regurgitation report into an authentic learning experience for, for your students. All right, so let's wrap up this discussion on the country reports. I'm picking on the country report because it's just one example of those lower level uh, research projects that are really out of compliance with the Common Core. They have no fostering of higher level thought. It's rote and recall. So here we go. We have these invitation information uh, invitations that say information investigation invitation that teachers, librarians put in teachers' boxes saying, hey, I'd like to talk to you about repackaging. Look at the Common Core writing standards. One through five says, you know, teach them how to write how to draw it from something they're reading. That's where the close reading comes into play. But, um, and then you have, of course, number six that says using technology, interact, interact and collaborate with others. So that could be done in the classroom. Most of the time it's done in a technology lab or in the library. But seven, eight, nine, they cannot do those without seeing you in the library. So if they're climbing their meeting standards, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, I would say, if you're not seeing them, they're not there. So the country report is one that we can pick on and show you how that can be easily repackaged for alignment with the Common Core. We like to use the word repackaging because it's very non-threatening to a teacher. Because it, it assumes or infers that they're already doing half of it. And it's just a little tweaking. And you know, in fact, that works. We get lots of customers. So the country report can be turned upside down into an inquiry investigation by uh, compelling it with a simple essential question at the beginning. Not giving them 20 questions to answer, or 10. They'll come up with many more that are better than yours. But by saying, hey, how does, um, how does where you live determine how you live? Or what does it mean to live in a flat world? Or how are we globally interdependent? At the end of a real inquiry investigation on countries, they might be able to answer all three of those. But it also helps you to focus their investigation. They could work collaboratively with others, uh, not, in, not in one country, each and independent. They could, they could be a team. They could be a team of ambassadors from countries. Uh, and then they could present their knowledge to the UN, plea for funding. That's a real world problem. By the way here, you can integrate math into all this. When you send them home to evaluate all the countries or lists of countries from which their food and clothing come from, they could be graphed. And then using um, the math integration standards, for instance, 6, EE8, listen to this. Write an inequality of the format, x is greater than c or x is less than c, to represent a constraint or condition in a real world. And it goes on. The equations and expressions part of the math standards can also be integrated here. So you can not only hit the ELA standards, but you can integrate math. And this is what the Common Core is all about. How can I hit multiple disciplines with, a, with an inquiry with a deeply focused, instead of scratching the surface for facts, I can dig deep and really understand interglobal dependency. Um, that way your students really build and synthesize and present their knowledge. Not just building research to build and present knowledge, but research to build, synthesize, and present their knowledge. That's a little snapshot on the Common Core. You can tell I'm a librarian.
you go out there and do the same and see if you can get a customer to repackage something in your building.